Hi, just a quick one today. Um, got a bit further. I just thought I'd let you know. Um, however, on this, I'm going to be wrapping it up pretty soon. Because I know everybody's getting bored of this project. Um, but I've got one or two other things to do in between while I finish this off. Which I'm probably not going to film. But, first things to say. We have a steering wheel. Now, I had to cut this shaft down and butt weld it. I'm going to weld some plates across. Three in total, just to give it a bit more strength. But, the steering works fine. And, as you might be able to see down here, I've been working on my pegels. Now, my pegels that I've altered, they were originally off a Skoda and they hung the other way up. I.e. they were hinged at the top and not the bottom. But, due to the lack of height, I've had to go with bottom mounted pegels. So, these cylinders here, are off a Series 2 Land Rover. Uh, I think they cost me £10 per cylinder. I said the pedals are off a Skoda and I can alter the bias here when it focuses so I can put more pressure on one side than the other. The clutch cable, I've got to make a stop to stop the pedal leaning forward but You've got to remember, apart from a few little bits I've bought, this is all made out of scrap. And so somebody like Lee can drive it, for example. I've made it so the pedals will move 8 inch further forward and lock into place. Because I can't move the seat, but I can move the pedals. So there you go. It's a start, it's not brilliant, but... See you later.